right, so today we're going to learn another strategy. I just want to send you with it to sixth grade. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it because uh, we should only be doing modeling um, in fifth grade, but I just like to arm you with a couple of strategies. Um, today he's going to be referring to fractions, numerators and denominators as top numbers and bottom numbers. I love Math Antics Man and I love his videos. I almost didn't want to show you today because of his lack of vocabulary about that, um, but he is so great. I don't want to not let you watch it. Just remember that when he's talking about top numbers and bottom numbers, he's talking about numerators and denominators. And what he's going to mention is that in the he says, in the last video we learned, he's talking about multiplying the denominators because he made a video. He didn't use uh, modeling like we did. He used kind of a standard algorithm trick. Um, but that's what he's referring to is essentially the same thing we've already learned, okay? In our modeling, what we were essentially doing was multiplying the denominator. So you can still relate to what he's saying. That is what you learned first, and I'll show you that. All right, so here we have two-thirds and one-sixth, and we learned that we partition the first fraction into the same amount of units as the second, and that's six. And we partition the second in the same amount of units as the first, and that's thirds. So here we have three by six units, right? And here we have three by six units. And when you look at that, each has 18 parts. And so we taught you to then change, whether it's subtraction or addition, that their common denominator would be eighteenths. All right, and if you look, three times six is eighteen. Now, this is a great way to find a, a common denominator super quickly, um, if you're not modeling, of course. Uh, but there is enough, another method using a the least common multiple. So that is what the next video will be about, and I will go over that when you come back. Your first color for today's time to climb. And remember, I won't look at anybody's Nearpod as, as being done in any sort of way unless I see time to climb, at least a four or five. So your first color is green.